It is the 4th, the 7th, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1,211. Let's get started. Any news? Growing problem in Fukushima. Healthcare workers trying to shed light on a silent killer. Quote, we're seeing more and more people with physical conditions and diseases. We've been going on and on. This is just getting started. They can't hide the truth. It's, it's just getting started. Top U.S. official. The reality is no technology exists anywhere to solve the problem of Fukushima's melted fuel. That's the reality of it. Molten mass will scorch into the earth. It won't will. It has. And there's not one. There's three. Not to mention the four spent fuel pools. Uh, if not cooled, a China syndrome. Geysers of radioactive steam shooting up for miles around. And in the early days, it was reported quite frequently that steam geysers were shooting up through cracks in the ground in and around the Fukushima power plants. Very strong quake hits New Mexico border. Seismic data spikes at WIP nuclear site. Energy declare, uh, declared at nearest nuclear... Emergency declared at nearest nuclear plant. Larger magnitude event will st could still occur. Uh, TV sounded like a train derailed. Very rare. Still trying to figure out what caused it. No known fault lines in the area. Big mystery at the whip site. Imagine that. Government expert, plutonium is certainly being discharged into the Pacific Ocean from the Fukushima plants. Not just plutonium. 1,300 other radioactive isotopes are being released right along with it. Flowing out of ruptured uh, containments, a.k.a. China Syndrome melt through. The, the coriums have left the building. Reactor water turns into yellowish fizzing liquid from damaged fuel rods. Quote, it actually vibrates. Thinks there's still things going on in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry, folks. It's in cold shutdown. It's official. They're decommissioning them. That's what they're doing. Japan government funded study. Fukushima has released up to 120 quadrillion becquerels of radioactive cesium into the North Pacific Ocean. That's just the cesium does not include amounts that fell on land, exceeds Chernobyl's total, which amounts for releases deposited on land and ocean. Now this was a government funded study. We know how um, accurate those can be. Fukushima's reactors are 15 times the size of Chernobyl's. And there are three of them. The insanity continues. Uh, Fukushima plutonium found in playground 60 kilometers from nuclear power plant. Quote, proves that indeed plutonium has been admitted by the accident. Unquote. Some in the form of fuel fragments, question mark. Up to 14 billion becquerels of plutonium 239 and 240 released. Now, in the early days of this accidents, TEPCO was telling property owners that if you find plutonium in your property, it's your responsibility to get rid of it. And I remember, I remember reporting on that. Radiation spikes at WIP nuclear facility hits highest level since initial hours of radioactive release in February. Document link removed from official website. Government analyzing samples for potential impact on human health. Don't worry, folks. There's no immediate danger. Uh, they just keep going round and round a whip, huh? Newspaper increasing worry on West Coast over Fukushima radiation. Quote, really concerned about effect on wildlife and most importantly, our health. Big black hole where data should be. 
Professor, quote, we do not know the full extent. We're just watching the West Coast unfold. And indeed we are, especially those of us who are paying attention. Official, important we sample for plume. Fish oil being tested. It's just getting started. TV new concerns of Fukushima radioactive material spilling into ocean from layer 80 feet deep. And again, the coriums have left the building. They're under the plant and in the environment. And this stuff is going to be shooting out from a lot of places. They're reporting it coming out from underneath the harbor and cracks in the harbor. We're just getting started. Got a few hundred million years to go. The insanity continues. You know, only eight stories from the last time I did a report here. That's how uh, how much they're putting their thumb down on this information. Over to Fukushima Diary, uh, which is down, but I went around and uh, I got a link for you. Decontamination soil bags are already starting to be torn in Fukushima. They're just piling these bags up in neighborhoods. All this radioactive material they're supposedly decommissioning. They don't have anywhere to put this stuff. So they're stacking it in the neighborhoods. And the bags are already starting to fall apart. Go figure. Uh... Eighty-seven thousand one hundred becquerels per kilogram of sewage sludge in Fukushima. That's the sludge they get out of these sewage plants, aka what are people ingesting? And the levels are at eighty-seven thousand becquerels per kilogram. You tell me these people aren't ingesting radiation every day, and this stuff just doesn't go away. It accumulates. Every little bit, every day, accumulates. And it's not going to stop. They don't know how to stop it. And it's only a matter of time. You need to shut down every single nuclear power plant on this planet. And we need to get on this and figure out what we're going to do. Yeah. What do we do? I'm going to end tonight with a shout out. This one goes out to Tony, who had the good honors to come up to me at the disc golf course and introduce himself. It's great to meet you, Tony. Come out any Sunday. I'd love to play with you. Enjoy what you can, everybody. I am. Thanks.